Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode on a new series on FTB. So, I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded the video, but uh, I'm planning on starting an FTB series again. Uh, this is the new EcoMaid or the EcoBeast uh, server, and it's currently being hosted by me and Lars, aka Hova123. Um, yeah, I do have my finals fairly soon, but, uh, so there's not gonna be any videos then, or not many, and then after that I'll continue making FTB videos, and, uh, yeah. So, you may notice that I'm not on my normal account, Rule of the Sheep, I'm actually on Juicy's second account, and that's because my uh, main account got hacked. So I'm, I'm still trying to get it back. I should hopefully get it back uh, in a few weeks. But yeah, he offered me his account so I could use his account. And I'm really grateful for that. So thank you, Juicy. And uh, yeah. So I have been playing Feed the Beast for a few weeks now. And as you may notice, I've built this tower. And over there is a cool rainbow forest, but uh, yeah, we can't go in there for too long because it makes you crash pretty badly if you go in there. So here I have this tower, and over there is, is Lars's place. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, so this tower, um, I like the look of it. It's pretty nice. Now here are some bushes. And if I go in, yeah, this is my main room. This is pretty temporary. I just have it there. And I got some basic stuff, redstone furnace, pulverizer. And random stuff everywhere. And here's my, yeah, it's pretty decent. I got quite a bit of iron. I used to have a, a stack of iron blocks. But they got depleted pretty fast. And here are my, um... Precious ores, I guess. 13 diamonds. Now, the whole concept of this tower is that I'm going to uh, supply everything with bio like in a biological way. So I'm going to use farms to create biomass. I'm going to turn that into biofuel. Or that's what it used to be called. Now it's ethanol, I think. And then I'm going to use the ethanol in a steam and uh wait a steam boiler and eventually i'm going to use the steam to power everything so yeah i think that's a pretty cool idea here is uh, the start of the power line that's a con lead conductive uh, wire or conduit <coughs> or a hardened actually it's upgraded um this floor is going to be my storage room so I've already got some stuff here. It's not going to be like this. Uh, but here I have all the supplies I need to make uh, to make the the farms and everything. I have already built this once, but I've taken it all down because I didn't like like everything was really messy. And now I'm going to organize it more. Uh, this floor is going to be where the energy is going to be produced. So the steam boiler is going to be here. The liquid like the, the giant tank with the ethanol and all the engines I need I'm gonna use the um, for RF I'm gonna use the steam dynamos for Minecraft jewels I'm gonna use the steam engine it's the industrial one and for EU I'm going to use well, I could use the bio generator but that runs on uh, uh, ethanol. But I'm actually I want to use uh, steam, so I'm going to use the I'm not sure what it's called there the steam turbine. It's a multi-block. It's three by two by two as you can see, and uh, that creates a good amount of uh, EU. I think it's either a hundred or two hundred EU per tick. So that's pretty good. I might make multiple of those eventually. When I advance, um, we are playing. 
by the way, we're playing on the FTB Monster Pack, so there's no Greg deck, but there are a lot of cool mods. Um, oh yeah, and I got this awesome wand of, or staff of traveling from Lars. It's really awesome. You can shift and right click, and you can fly through walls and fly up in the air, or go back inside. And I got the glider, which is also pretty cool. You can just, uh, yeah, I'll show you. You right click it, and then you glide. If you unequip it, you fall down. Um, so this room was the the room where everything is going to be generated, the power, and this room is going to be where the 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 ethanol, yeah, the ethanol itself is going to be made from the biomass and all the stuff. I'm going to use wheat um, for the mulch, and uh, the excessive wheat is going to go uh, is going to get generated, or is going to be used in the fermenter. And then, of course, the mulch I need for uh, the fermenter. And this floor is also going to be for wheat. And then I'm going to eventually add another floor in this. And on that floor is going to be a pretty big tree farm with oak trees. And um, the oak trees are... I'm going to use the... I'm going to... Wait, one second. Let me go down. Here, uh, this is what I need. I have, I'm going to use the planter and the harvester from Mine Factory Reloaded. They are pretty awesome. They use MJs and EU or EU to uh, get like to produce stuff. And uh, basically, what you can do if you this harvester, if I place it down, I can set it to share le uh, sh share leaves. So I can set it to yes and no. Also, the, if you want a mushroom farm. Um, so let's put this back so what i'm going to do is once the oak trees are being planted by the planter the the harvester is going to harvest it but it's not going to get saplings it's going to um, it's going to get the leaves and it's actually going to get a, a lot of leaves really fast and those leaves i'm going to use um hold on i can use the leaves for hold on what is this wait um let me get these leaves press u uh, oh wow oh wow i thought Hold on. Plant ball. Okay, rubber leaves. But I'm pretty sure you could use spruce leaves. Redwood, redwood. Hmm. So it looks like you can. You can't use oak leaves. Well, that's no big deal, really. Nah, it's no big deal, because I can... These rubber leaves are pretty easy to get as well. Because, if, as you can see, I have quite some... I have 11 stacks of rubber saplings. So, I can just plant these and then shear them and then use those leaves. So yeah, no problem. And those, I'm gonna auto use them in an auto crafting table, and they go into. Uh, they're going to go like get. Uh, I'm gonna turn the leaves into plant balls, and the plant balls are going in the fermenter. And uh, yeah, all that stuff. So first of all, I'm probably going to set up the farms. So let me get these. I need, I need, uh, I need the upgrades, and then I'm not gonna uh, get or get power for them yet because I don't want to use these. I actually want the uh, MJs, but we'll get to that later. Get some pipes. Um, actually, you get the item ducts as well. I need one of those or two of those. All right. Um.
Okay, let's go up. Okay, first the harvester. So I'm going to put the harvester over here. Actually, no, it needs to be the other way around. Harvester there. I'm going to put the. These are the upgrades, and it's a platinum upgrade, and you can see it has an increased radius of 10. So the normal radius is a 3x3, three three, so it would only harvest um, this area. This 3x3 three three it would only harvest. But if you upgrade it with 10 blocks, it's actually going to harvest everything. This is... Uh, let me see... Yeah, this is actually dark enough for monsters to spawn, so I should be careful. And... In this hole, I'm going to put um, the planter. I'm going to put it one down, actually, over there. With I need water, so let's go down. More. There's water. Yeah, over here, and put the water there, and um, that's really basically it. So. It's really easy. I put uh, water blocks here, so the soil is going to be hydrated, which is uh, needed for uh, wheat. So let's do the same on this one. Cause I'm actually going to make two wheat farms. So I'm pretty sure I need two, otherwise it's not going to be uh, keep up. So the planter is here. I need water again. One more. Another one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, let's go up. And I really need... I really need no fall boots, because I'm taking a lot of damage from going up and down with the staff traveling. And taking damage also, of course, costs you hunger. So, yeah. But they're pretty expensive, the no fall boots. Oh, let me... Let me check. No fall, fall, boots, uh, these things, long, oh, they're long fall boots, ah, I thought they were no fall boots, well, okay, yeah, they did two diamond per boot, so you need two boots, so it's four diamonds for the boots, pretty expensive, but the good thing is they don't degrade, and they are as strong as iron, I think, so that's pretty good, and you don't take damage from height at any height so that's really good I'm actually going to put the other harvester also in here on the same like right above it so it's gonna be easier to um, have them like collect stuff okay, also the and in this one I'm going to put a quartz upgrade because eight is enough to cover the whole area and in this one I forgot I also need to put the quartz upgrade pretty cool and let's fill this one up with some seeds I don't have that many seeds and this one with the rest okay pretty awesome now also the uh, the harvester it produces a liquid over here and I don't know what the liquid is used for I don't really think it's really useful so I'm just going to put this and a, vo a void pipe, so it should automatically go up in the void pipe, so that's pretty cool. Same over here. Just like that, so all this, I think it's sludge. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sludge. I don't know what it's used for. Uh, yeah. I don't really want to storage it in a tank. So avoiding it is perfectly fine. Now I need to... I'm going to create a hole here. Because we need to power this thing as well. So I'm going to make two holes. Because I need one for the output. And one for the power. So... I'm going to use... I'm actually... Ne I actually need... I'm not sure if I need a wooden pipe. I'm gonna get one anyways, just in case. Where is the okay wooden pipes? I'm gonna get an iron pipe as well, sandstone. 
maybe extra wooden pipes. Okay, now let's go up, up one more. So I'm going to output it from this side. I don't need engines, so I might not need this, but I'm just going to do it anyways. This might save me some time. Oh, there's Okta. You might know Okta from Visocraft. Hey there. Um, I'm not sure if he knows that I'm on this account, but uh, should be fine. Then... Oh, well, I'm just going to do this. Um, okay. Alright, so that's going to go down. And it's eventually going to go to the... Oh, hold on. No, I can't do this, actually. Um, let's redo this. Oops. All right, anyways. Um Oh yeah, I need I need to first route this stuff to here. Okay. Not all of it. That's why these diamond transport pipes are are for. I use those there, and then I need a seed. Put it to blue. I'm gonna put something that would never get in the system in white. So I'm gonna use a bucket so nothing goes up in any situation. So that's good. Oh wow! You scared me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's just going to be annoying now. Okay, he also has one of these awesome staff of travelings. Now, oh god, please. <laughs> okay, I need a barrel. The reason for that uh, actually, no. I don't want a barrel. I don't need a barrel yet. Because right now, there's a pretty cool trick, and Okta told me about it, about diamond pipes. That if I set this to yellow, all the pipes should go, or all the seeds could automatically go in here. And then it's going to go in here, and it's going to see, oh, seeds, and the seeds are in yellow. So the seeds are going to go in here standard, or by default. But if it's full, it actually knows that, oh, it's full. I can't go in. So it sends it back. It sends it back. So if I would have another output, like, for example, right there, it would go, oh, I'm back in here. Now I have a 50, 50 chance of going back in here, or going this way. But by default, I'm always going to go yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block red. So there's n no way it's going to go this way. If you put one item in there, there's no other item that can go that way. Only that item. So it's going to go back and it's going to see, oh, red is blocked. I can't go in there. So I have to go this way. And that way I can route this stuff back. And I can route it down to the storage room. So that's pretty neat. Um... Okay, I got that back. Nice. So right now, that's going to be good. Usually I would put a barrel right under here, but I kind of want everything stored now in one area. So I'm going to route it down as well to the main storage area. Now let's do the same for this thing. It's going to be a little uh, cheeky. I'm actually, now that I think of it, I probably don't need an iron pipe here. So I'm just going to use a normal one, or a wooden pipe. I go back down. And now just, there's these iron pipes, they're pretty um, cool as well. Uh, so everything else should go down, and everything else that's going to get produced is wheat. So the wheat should automatically go downwards. I could put a wheat there just in case. It's going to go down. 
and it's going to go in this pipe and it sees oh I can't go to the right because this is blocked so I need to go down because this is open I can't go up again because that's also blocked so everything that goes out from here is also automatically going to see that oh I can't go up so I need to go down so everything is going to get uh, sent down the stream so that's pretty cool Okta keeps telling me that I need to use logistic pipes and all that cool stuff like the new stuff but I can't be bothered, it's pretty expensive, you need diamonds and all that expensive stuff that they have enough of, because they have like infinite turtles mining everywhere. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hmm. let's, let's have this run, wait, why is this, oh okay, that's normal. Wait, hold on, is that normal? That's not normal. Uh, oh, it's normal. Okay. So, diamond pipe here. Wooden pipes. Pretty standard. Diamond pipe here again. And then everything goes down the main circuit. Or the main thing again. And here I'm going to put bucket in yellow. Or white seeds into blue. And the seeds are going to go there. And the seeds could automatically go into yellow. Bucket in red. And then eventually I'm going to have another output there. And. Uh, okay, good. Otherwise this whole room would have spilled. Let's go back up. And do this. There you go. So this is going to be the main seed line that's going to, like, like excessive seeds are actually, it's really, this is really nice because if this one fills up first, it's actually not going to send the, the spare seeds directly to the storage, but it's going to first uh, fill this one up, like, uh, also fill this one up. So, and then if this one is also full, then it's going to go back to the main storage. So, yeah, pretty cool. And that's all hooked up I think and here is going to be the main uh, wheat line and that's gonna go here eventually and yeah there is going to be the fermenter and all that cool stuff or actually no here is going to be the I think I'm going to build uh, moistener here but yeah let me do a little break a little cut so I can see how long I've been recording for and then I'll be back with you guys all right we are back and yeah it looks like I have quite some time left so I'm gonna continue this thing I'm gonna send the seeds straight to the m through the m no I'm actually not gonna do that oh this is actually the room where the fermenter and all that stuff is going to be so I need to stop this line here let's go back Close that for the moment. Get this thing, go back up. Alright. Uh, I want the seeds to be routed this way. Because that's the easiest way, because there's no block there. I could actually remove that and just place a pipe, but whatever. Do this, this, and this. And eventually, let's make it a little bit nicer and do this. There goes our window, our small little window. All right, so time to get the moistener over here. So the moistener is what I need. I need a, a, one aqueous accumulator, the igneous extruder, um, and of course water. So let's get the water as well. Uh, what else? What else? Item ducks, liquid ducks, or fluid ducks, that's the new name of them. And item ducks are also new. They're pretty awesome. They're basically fluid ducks. No, they're like almost the same as the old pneumatic tubes. And as we all know, the red power mod got removed, which is really saddening. It was a really good mod, but oh well. 
Good thing there is a lot of substitutes for that mod. And the red ILO and stuff is like adopted, I guess, by other other um, mods. All right, let's get this moistener. The thing about moistener is that it needs to be in under a light level of 11. So we need to keep that in mind. So how did I do this again? I think I put the moistener here. Right. With the aqueous accumulator right here then I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put a little housing around it it's pretty big and chunky and ugly but we'll have to live with it um, so let me get, I think so we had this I wonder if I could actually just use pneumatic tubes or item ducts that's their new name uh, I need a wrench or a crescent hammer because that's my favorite wrench go back I need a chest just a normal chest will do I just need a chest so I can transfer between build craft and thermal expansion pipes so I'm going to get, just hold on, I think this, actually, these are, I need, it would be the best if I had, I wonder if barrels are, are, uh, if they uh, let through light. I'm gonna grab a barrel for the moment actually I want to know if they let through light because if they don't that's perfect that's gonna deny more light um, okay that's wrong because it needs to be up oh there goes my axe I need to go up one because you can only output from the bottom on the barrel and input from the top I misplaced that right over there and let's just disable that do that and I actually need some le levers there are my levers and lever and I could put one here as well for this one yep and then there was one more thing that we need for input and that's cobblestone so the wheat is gonna go down the wheat is going into this thing and it's going if there is space in this thing it's going to pull the wheat from the uh, barrel put the wheat in this thing it's gonna ferment or moisten go out from here uh, the mulch should go eventually the mulch should go out from here and it shouldn't go back in here because I think this thing this stuff is smart enough to know that mulch doesn't go back in and then I can output from wherever I want basically now I need this igneous extruder as well because I can either put seeds in there or cobblestone and I'm highly prefer uh, cobblestone because they're much easier to uh, supply the moisture with but the thing is I can't put this uh, igneous extruder right right here because if it's gonna create cobblestone it's gonna emit light and that's we can't use that so I'm gonna need to finish this housing real quick like this I think this is a lot compacter than my other one because I used item ducts then I'm gonna use these uh, I need a more some more of those so let's just break these up real quick and dirt for the moment do this they might actually be uh, transparent but doesn't really matter so how can we I guess if we do this and then an item duct there and it goes out here that would probably be the best 
and then fill this in. Oh, wait. That's going to be a problem because these micro blocks, they're actually transparent. So if it's day, there's always going to be light going through there. So I either have to shove this up one block. So it's going to stick out a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Or I'm actually going to reposition everything a bit. So it shouldn't be too... It shouldn't get that much bigger. Okay. So, let's block this off. I hate wasting space, but... Okay. I don't have that much space anyways, but I'm going to have to do with this. There's no other way. Kind of looks chunky and big and... But oh well, and not that uh, nice. Uh, this is actually full block, so we could use this in some way. We can actually use this as well. So that's a lot of space that we could save if we just do this. It's mainly these blocks that need to be um, blocked off. So I need two sides for the igneous extruder no the aqua's accumulator to accumulate water so i think i can just do this really and then do this and that's going to ge generate a lot of water really fast then i'll just put my moistener here and just do the same thing as we did but then a little bit bigger or should it? It's actually not that much bigger. Just like this. And, uh. Okay. Actually, if I really want to make this a bit smaller, I could do this as well. I could put this here. Then shove this up, like, shove this, everything up one block. That would be even better. Yeah, right there. We can do this again. Right there. And this is one block of water. And there's another one. Pretty easy. Let's put a block there. So that's filling up this moistener pretty fast. Let's put this there. How can we power this? We can put this. We can make this one smaller as well. And I'll just put a lever there. Okay, looking good. Then the input, I could do this right there. And then, where's my stone pipe there? Do it like this. Doesn't look that great. But, uh,. It's the only way. Then fill this up. And we can put this there. Just put a layer of this stuff. And that's it. It's actually more compact than I would have imagined. And then the output. Oh yeah, I forgot the output. We could output from over here. It's actually pretty light in there. So I'm pretty sure this isn't transparent. Or this is transparent. So that kind of sucks. Maybe I can change it around a bit. If we do this. It's actually really light in there. I'm not sure if it's going to be dark enough. I can test actually. So let me go down. Get some cobble, get some wheat. Put the cobble in there, put the wheat in there. It's actually dark enough, that's nice, nice. That is good, that is dark enough. And um, let's see, to be honest, I can just uh, do this 
and then it looks a tiny bit better as well and this there just like that and then we make oh we need a wheat back or one wheat oh shit oh uh, i actually need to input the cobblestone as well so the wheat goes down black is down and blue is the seeds yeah and then block this that should be already set up perfect uh, oh actually this needs to be blocked off as well because we don't want seeds to go back up this should transfer it and now we just need to input the uh, the thing is really easy I just put the igneous extruder right there if I want to and put this item duct in there and this and that and the output is there just disable this real quick um, enabled ignored so this lever shouldn't affect anything of it and then I just need to put one lava bucket one water bucket and this should be ready so I'm actually going to finish the episode right here with this thing we did quite some stuff already we built the two farms and we did the moisture um, the next in the next episode we'll probably put the fermenter down and all that cool stuff as well and yeah I'll see you in the next episode see ya